Hello everyone, I'm Sparsh. Today we are going to talk about the genetic algorithm library that I just finished building. So there are some libraries available for Python and most of them were for Python 2.x. So I was facing some issues with the installation. Uh, I tried to install them and there are a bunch of errors. So I just decided to build my own and here we are. Uh, so in this video, we're going to see how we can use this library to reconstruct a given image from scratch using genetic algorithm. Before we start off, I'll briefly explain what we're going to do here. We have a 20 cross 20 image, as you can see on screen. Uh, that is, we have 400 pixels. This is a black and white image, uh, and we have pixel values which can either be 0 or 255. So we divide the image matrix by 255 so that we have binary values for each pixel. So after the division, uh, our image consists of values which can either be 0 or 1. Each chromosome um, for algorithm consists of 400 genes, which is nothing but a flattened array of the image that we have. Now, algorithm starts from scratch and tries to optimize the image so that it matches with the parent image the best. Now, let's get into the video. So, firstly, we open a terminal and try and run the file. So, the file is named as image construction dot py. Okay. So, as soon as we start running the file, as you can see, uh, we have two separate boxes. One shows the original image and the other shows the formed image. And on the terminal, you can see the values for different generations. So, as you can see, there's best and there's a value. So this means that this is the best individual that we have for the particular generation it shows loss and we are trying to minimize the loss and as you can see firstly during the initial generations it, it just tries to you know randomly give some values to different pixels and tries to match it with the original image and it gets better with each generation uh, that is what we hope and so the best is achieved when the loss there goes down to zero so this takes a bit of time and uh, you know, at the end of the video, we'll probably see a better version of the formed image. So I'll now just uh, try to speed up the video so that we can go to the end pretty fast. Okay, so we are pretty much at the mid and currently we are at generation 68 or no, no, 70 so as you can see the loss has reduced to 42 to what it was 150 or something at the start so yeah so uh, this will continue for a while uh, i'll speed up the video again and hopefully when we reach at the end we'll have a exact version of the original image uh, we're almost at the end and uh, as you can see this is generation 162 the loss is to around one loss is one now so still time to try to optimize it okay it's going on and uh, okay so ha we we have an exact copy of the original image at around generation 168 so yeah so this is pretty much it it's done and all of this code is available on my github page i'm going to post a link to that somewhere uh, yeah and then everything is open source you can go ahead and uh, have a look at the algorithm uh, other library and you know you can build different stuff using genetic algorithm it's pretty efficient you know yeah thanks for watching and uh, maybe i'll see you in the next one